I should add that I don't have any surgical procedures I can share with you. <laughs> but if by any remarkable coincidence any of our graduates who took my class on quantum materials ever happen to become a surgeon, please remember me kindly. <laughs> Okay, so it's my pleasure to introduce the Applied Physics PhD student graduate speaker, Connie. Connie is a native of the Bay Area. She came to Stanford after a bachelor's at Caltech and master's at Cambridge. Her research under Professor David Goldharbor Gordon focused on quantum materials and nanoelectronics. And in September, she will start as a Congressional Science Fellow of the American Institute of Physics in Washington, D.C. And I'll add that Connie has been um, an active and wonderful contributor to our community through her entire time here, including working on our DEI committee and many others. And uh, we're very grateful and glad to see you here. So, thank you all uh, for being here today on this day of celebration. Uh, it, it is really a huge honor to stand here before you. Before I get started, I do want to dedicate this moment uh, to my mom, uh, who loves graduations. <laughs> um, and, and, and she really loves graduations, and partially I think that's because uh, she had to miss her own college graduation uh, for personal reasons. Um, my mom loves going to graduations. She'll go to anyone's, even a stranger's. Uh, and I think that's why uh, she's been asking me for the last five years when I would graduate. <laughs> And since it's Father's Day, I certainly have to acknowledge all of uh, my, my dad and all the father, dads and father figures in this room. Uh, yeah, special thank you to my dad, who, who likes to call me and ask, Connie, is your refrigerator running? <laughs> but anyway, uh, to the class of 2023, congratulations on all of your accomplishments, uh, and I'm excited for the wonderful future ahead of us. Um, it really brings me great joy uh, to share this moment, which is uh, the capstone to all of the other moments that went into the, this PhD. So I have to admit now that after all these years, I still don't know what most of your PhDs are about, <laughs> but I do know that your PhDs were a test of patience, perseverance, and sometimes pain. I know that you learned things and tried things uh, and pro proposed things that no one else in this universe has before. Uh, and thanks to you, maybe no one ever will again. <laughs> and I also know that this wasn't without obstacles. You adapted to each challenge uh, that arose, uh, including the pandemic, yes, um, and, and faced it with bravery, creativity, and humanity. Um, and in this journey, some of you may have also faced uh, personal tragedy, mental and physical uh, health deterioration, isolation, harassment, imposter syndrome, uh, changing advisors, all, and all those other things that they tell us are part of the process, but they don't really have to be. I'm proud of you, and I'm proud of us uh, for getting to this moment. And now, uh, I want to talk about what comes next. As the years go by, I'm sure we'll look back and recognize what a special time and place we occupied together here at Stanford. Think about it. No one else is going to understand the chilled water curtailment jokes. <laughs> Seven years at Stanford, worth it for the uh, So, and AP and, a, AP and physics uh, have been a really special community. Um, and whether you think so or not, it's a community that we all impacted uh, and shaped. Because physics is more than just equations and experiments and discussing the unfalsifiability of string theory. It's about how we, as physicists interact with society around us. Because as you know, ignoring interactions will only get us so far. <laughs> well, actually for some of us, it gets us pretty far. Um, but that means the final boss is figuring out the role that we each can play in all of this. In all of this. Uh, for example, in communicating science to, the bro uh, to broader society and in training future generations. And so from this training we've received, no matter where we end up, I hope we are emboldened to stay curious about the world around us uh, and how we interact with it. I hope we continue to challenge the status quo and we strive to make this world a better place, even if just by epsilon. And I hope that wherever we go, we lift others up alongside with us. So, uh, in conclusion, my conclusion slide, um, congratulations again to the class of 2023. 
Uh, thank you to all the parents, loved ones, mentors, and advisors who supported us. Um, and to the graduates, use your powers for good, not evil. Um, uh, I guess eat healthy, and if anyone ever wins a Nobel Prize, also please invite me. <laughs> so thank you everyone, and congratulations again.